Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be fitting the Badlands uh, onto the granite. What we're going to do is we're going to get these fitted on, but it, before we do, it is worth noting that you will need uh, 12 millimeter adapters, uh, hex adapters, to run these particular wheels and tires on this truck. Uh, the standard fitment is 14 millimeter. Um, <clears throat> what makes what makes that quite difficult is the fact that there isn't many uh, options uh, available to you to actually run 14 millimeter wheels and tires on this. So what this will actually do is allow you to run many different options. Uh, for me, I like the look of the Badlands. I've used them before, and uh, that's the reason why I'm going to go for those again on this particular monster truck. So let's not waste any more time. Uh, <clears throat> let's get these fitted on, get the conversion done, and uh, hopefully it makes a massive difference to the appearance and look and feel of this truck. So guys, we're going to start by taking off the old wheels. And then we're going to do the conversion where we fit the 12mm hexes. To be honest with you guys, you know, this isn't really so easy to do. You don't even really need a tutorial, but I know a lot of people out there actually do like to see the full process. It may help some people, you know, some people don't feel confident to actually take things apart. So they do actually like to see other people do it. So what we're actually going to do is change the 14 millimeter hexes on that you see here we're going to change those to 12 millimeter using the armor um, conversion kit which i did show you earlier but just in case you did miss it i'll also show you the part number as well so this will convert your 14 millimeter to uh, 12 millimeter, which means it, this will give you a lot more options to run multiple different wheels and tire setups on this. So we are done. And just look how good these actually look. They are definitely going to tear up some dirt. So the actual uh, Badlands are fitted now. They look absolutely amazing, nice and chunky. They're definitely going to be tearing up some dirt. Um, I do feel like these are going to be a massive improvement over the standard tyres. Not that these are bad because these are actually really good. Um, I've heard a few negative things about the Badlands and that is that they do balloon quite a lot. Um, 
I do intend to actually run this on 3S. So I don't think I'm going to have a massive issue running this on 3S. If I do decide to go down the 4S route, maybe we'll have a bit of an issue. Uh, there are a few tricks you can do to actually stop these from ballooning, but I won't get into those today. If it's something I actually decide to do though, I will definitely do another video. I don't know if you've seen yet, but I do actually have a uh, Traxxas TRX4 Sport. Um, I am still filming and editing that video, so it's not ready just yet. But I will be dropping that one very soon. Um, I cannot wait to show you. You know, It's an absolutely amazing machine. I'm so glad that I actually got it. I was in two minds whether to get it or not, as I'm not really a crawler sort of person. But I'm glad I got it and I'm, I'm looking forward to making some really good videos with it in the future. Which is why you need to make sure you subscribe because you're not going to want to miss that video. And it will be out very, very soon. Me and a good friend of mine called Tom are actually going to be taking this and the Triton out tomorrow for a good bash. Thing, uh, lockdown rules have actually started to ease up now so we are allowed to go out. Uh, we are allowed to do more stuff. So we're going to be taking this and the Triton out for a good bash. And hopefully we can get some good footage, you know, and finally test these trucks out to their full potential. Um, previously, in all my previous videos, I have been very limited to where I can actually run these. More than likely, you know, you see them running in the back in the backyard. There's only so much you can do. These are high performance machines, especially when you're running on 3S, 4S, and above. You know, you can't be running in uh, in a very small area. Okay, so it is definitely worth mentioning that when you do get to see that video. Uh, my friend Tom has never used or had or owned a, um, a hobby grade RC vehicle so it should be quite funny to actually see what it's like for a complete and utter noob you know for someone who has never got their hands on something like this I mean this is a high performance machine you know and for someone who has never used something like this before it should be a bit of an experience I am actually hoping that I can get him into the hobby um, maybe not with this but maybe with something more basic we will have to see guys, we'll have to see how tomorrow goes and then we'll go from there. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a good laugh so we'll see how it, how it goes. I'm going to stop talking now, I'm going to leave it there. As I did say, uh, the TRX4 Sport video will be coming out very soon so make sure you hit that subscribe button. As always, if, you, if there's anything you want to ask me, feel free to drop a comment below. Make sure you like this video and if there's anything else, just get in contact. Hope you enjoyed this video today guys and I will see you on the next one. Cheers.